I was talking too. I had deleted some shit and started talking and um it cut me off. So I don't know what I deleted. I probably needed it. I'm about to go back and figure it out. F figure it out. Figure it out. Anyway, okay, enough of that. I don't know what's going on. But um welcome to Look Good Friday. I got two videos up before this one. And y'all know what I'm liking this um hair and I'm liking this little darkness, this this lighting, this lighting. Got me yet and stuff. Anyway, y'all, let me stop playing with my hair and stuff. Okay, head mistress. Head mistress. Um, was the first one I saw as the comment. I wrote it down in my little book I got from um young lady here on YouTube. Head mistress wants to know. Hold on, y'all. Y'all know me, old ass clothes. I got this from New Orleans long, 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 long time ago at the Coyote Ugly Bar. But head mistress, y'all, on, on on YouTube. Brandy with an I. Brandy. 1525. Brandy, head mistress. Up there in Illinois with all that damn snow that I'm jealous of because I, I had on my little hoodie outside today, but. It, yeah, nothing. I want some damn snow. Excuse me. But head mistress wants to know, y'all. I wrote it down. So I won't have to keep picking up my phone and stuff because I'm playing music. But the first one she wanted to know was um the first question was like, you know, how to you how to get your diva back? When you and I'm just I just go down but y'all can go back and look at it word for word what she wrote, but she basically wants to know how to get your diva back when you, you know, when you wifey and mommy and you in this slump, perfect question, baby, because I've been in this slump, wifey, mommy, just like, ever since um, I got through with school, yeah, I had a feeling that, you know, I was going to be a little down because, you know, I met some cool people there, and it's, it was something for me to get up and do every day, It you know, it was nerve-wracking towards the end because we got a lot of more students in and stuff, and I'm like, oh, time to go, but... I, I really enjoy getting up from being retired, you know, since oh nine. I really enjoy getting up, putting on my little black smock and, and you know, scrub black with my black scrubs and stuff and going to school. I really enjoyed that. So when I got through my hours, I you know, I couldn't go back. I was done. So it's like, okay, you know, back in that recliner over there. Yeah, I got that I got the recliner right there. Big old big old ass recliner. I need it. Medical reasons. I sleep in that. Big old recline. I'm sitting in there. I'm like, okay, this, okay. I'm just like, okay, what I'm going to do? This, you know, okay. Okay. So you, my daughter was like, mama, you know, you through with school? And I'm like, yeah. She like, yay. And then she went straight into it. Are you going to, you back at home now? Uh, this this is her words. You you back being a housewife. You you you're back being a housewife again. I'm like, and I always stop them from there. I'm like, I'm not a housewife. I don't like that term. You know, I'm, I I I'm I'm not gonna. I don't like that term. I'm not a housewife. I am retired. Woman, put it like that. Whatever. But I'm like, um, I'm like, why? You know, cause again, you know. She, her, her little wheels turning her head trying to find stuff for me to do mama you know because she got to school early on fridays every friday mommy gonna pick me up you know sit her riding the bus you know and i can just go and get her and within 20 minutes and then sit her just riding all over mommy go, you gonna come and get me today i'm like lauren ride the bus i don't know how i'm going to feel friday when you get out of school so just plan on riding the bus don't just bank on me just being there to pick you up from the bus stop. If I don't feel like going, I'm not going to go because you you need to ride the bus. I might have something to do outside of here. Like, you know, I might have an event to go volunteer to do nails. So when I get licensed on Tuesday, again, that's what I, I, I'm going to use that. I'm going to, I want to do nails. If I feel up to it, don't bank on me being here. If somebody call me because I'm mobile. If somebody say, I need you to come to my house and do my manicure. If I feel like going, that's what I want to. That's that's what I want to do. But anyway, how to get get your diva back? Basically, you got to do what I just did today. Came back from getting my hair done. I'm like, man, she, her, you know, see him for what? I I I I'm itching. You know, 
I got, man, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm good. You know, I had that, that chai tea thing from Starbucks, and I'm like, man, I'm like, I, what I'm sitting here for? And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna record a video. I'm pulling a little makeup. So I did my little eye makeup, and y'all know me. I did my little face powder and stuff last. But I'm like, you know what? I've been doing makeup. Did my makeup, pulling some accessories, had my little old long uh, maxi dress on earlier, I'm in my bra and stuff. And, you know, my husband, like, hmm. Then we had company, you know. And I'm like, okay. I really wanted to just go in there and, you know, wind and grind on, on, on Big Daddy. But I'm like, okay, we got company. So, that threw me for a loop. And I didn't want to just sit there and entertain. So, I'm like, okay, I came back into my room. Got my hookah pin, got my wine, got my music. And I'm just sitting here looking pretty. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go. And I told Big Daddy, I'm like, look, I'm, I'm finna go. I'm finna go to happy hour. And he like, well, where, where you going to go happy hour? I don't know. I, I'm going to find a happy hour. I'm finna go somewhere. So, um, I wound up just leaving here with my makeup on, looking good. You know, smelling good. And I wound up just riding, trying to figure out where I was going. Then I hit traffic and I just wound up taking another loop around Houston and came back. Wound up on the north side of town. That's when I went to Papa, sat there at the bar by myself, ate. And um, I don't disclaim, I don't condone no drinking and no driving. But, you know, had me one little cocktail, went to Target, came back, back from Target, came back to the house. I got out of the house. And to me, that was enough. And he was like, okay, well, I'm going. You know, how long I, I want to go with you? But he got to work tomorrow. My husband works a lot. He got to work on his off days. Saturday and Sunday, he's working. He don't have to. He don't have to, but he, that's, he, that's what he want to do. He want to do it. And so, you know, cut the top of many years, you know, trying to make things happen here for us. So, yeah, he he got to work. So I'm like, you know, I'm, I, I don't, don't want to just sit here. So I just got up and just did me. You know, it would have been nice to have some company, but I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm used to it now. You know, you no, know, I keep saying Virgo, you know, we roll solo. I'm fine with that. So try to get up and just put on your little makeup. But you know, Dave, you always made up. You got to just go and do it. Go do it. The dinner was out. Leftovers was from yesterday. And um, when I got, I you know what I did pick up Lauren from school today because I did get my hair done. So I picked her up and we had went out, you know, took her to Waterbrook and we ate and talked and stuff. So I spend the time with her. And she's not into Halloween and trick or treat none of this stuff. Believe it or not, she went to sleep. I'm like, Lauren, y'all want no trick or treat? You know, let me make a little cat out your nose. I'm, I'm gonna lay down. I'm like. Okay, so I just got up and left, and I just started driving, and you know, just done something. So, Diva, you know, you got to just do that sometimes. Long as it, just say, look, if even if you didn't cook, or even if you didn't have no leftovers, say, okay, y'all, uh, I'm finna go, I'm finna go to Target, or I'm finna go right around. I, I, I got, I got, you know, I got some things to think about. And they're gonna be like, you know, what's going on? You okay? I'm okay. I just, I just need God and do me. So you, like I say, you always made up with your makeup on. Girl, you better go put on some clothes and just and go ride around the city. I left here from the north side and go on on 59, and I saw the the, the nightlife. I saw downtown, the nightlife. I know no, the out the the outline of Houston, and I'm just like, you know, I'm in the city. I'm I'm chilling. Music on in the, in, the, in the slow lane, the right lane, just chilling. This and and to me that was enough. I this, I needed that. I needed to get I get that fresh, cool, crisp air. So you gotta just do that sometimes. Just like you know what, bologna and cheese in the fridge, hot pockets in the fridge. I I I be back and just go. I don't. That's that's ride. Sometimes you just get in the car like I just did. Just ride. I don't know where you going. Cause my husband texts me. Well, I'm I'm on my way. I'm coming. I'm like, baby, I know you got to go to work. You know I'm fine. You know entertain your company. I'm fine. And I came back and he in the man cave, knocked out. So I'm um, you know you gotta just do that sometimes for yourself. Nine minutes on that, so let me get on to it. So, yeah. Number two. And I talked about this all the time on YouTube. You know, income tax time. It's cuffing season. Men coming out. Cuffing season. Baby, let me tell you something. I've, I've learned that you, I, can, I can sit here and talk about no good men and cuffing season and women who just got to have a man around just to say they got a man around. I can talk about that all day, every day, baby. It ain't going to change nothing. If them women want to pay for a man, because that's all they doing. They know, believe it or not, women smart. 
We some smart ass women. Some of us are. We may not act like it. We may not have common sense. Some of us, and I, I know y'all don't, don't y'all don't like me to use this word, and I don't really like using this word, but you know, some females are a little slow. You know, like, mm, you know, uh, shit, fuck it. You know, I, I, I know he using me, but hey, I don't care. I got me a boo. I'm on Instagram posing. I got me a boo. That's all that matters. Some women, it's just like that. You can't talk to them. You can't make put it through their head that they being used. They know. Nine times out of ten, they know. They know it's cuffing season. They know men coming around. They know baby daddies coming around. Old schoolmates coming around. Females coming around, you know, they, they know that, but they don't care. As long as they got somebody around them, with them, cuffing with them, just to say, I got a boo, just to say, you know, I'm, yeah, I mean, my, I, I, I got my man. They don't care. They look $8,000 income tax check. They finna get that shit, finna get ate up, buying him some joints and, you know, some little Xbox and all this stuff. They don't care. That's how, that's how they are. It, nothing, again, you can run yourself crazy thinking about that. It's sad and unfortunate, but women, if you that if you that number that nine out of the ten that's doing this shit, why? There's somebody out there that you can be with and that you can cuff with and you that, that you can call your boo without giving them all your money around income tax time. Just just put that money up somewhere, do something with it. You ain't have to don't spend all that shit on no man. You uh, don't don't be so desperate. Don't put the what's the word thirsty. Don't be so thirsty to have somebody in your life that you got to spend all your money. Especially if you have kids and you, if you got kids and you spend all your damn income tax money on the, on the man. That's another video. Again, you know, like I said, I don't like really down down them women and calling them slow and stuff. I apologize. I really do, but gotta do better, women. Come on now, you know it's 2014. You can do bad all by yourself. You ain't, and I don't even like that saying, because you ain't got to do bad, man. Just get your shit together. You know, you can cuff. Ain't nothing cuff. Ain't nothing wrong with cuff. Sit there and, and cuddle and, and stuff, but, um, nah, I ain't finna pay your cell phone bill. Nah, I ain't finna buy you no, no new rim for your old ass Tahoe. Nah, I ain't finna buy none of that. I ain't finna buy, no, I ain't finna buy you no weed. I ain't finna buy you no Hennessy. No. What you put you what what have you done for me lately? Yeah, so yeah, women, just you know, just be mindful of that. Number three, half your ass and titties out, I, and I wrote down titty meat. Half your ass and titty meat out. Women on YouTube, um, to get followers. What do I think about that? I don't. I don't think about it. That's it. That's that's what they do. What they eat don't make me shit. Some women just have to just feel as if that's they have to do that to get the followers. Or whatever they doing it for. Cause I done came on here, I ain't lying, you know, I done came on here not not intentionally just like, you know, you know, what's up, you know, I, cause I have a, a husband here, I have to be more respectful, you know. I but Yeah, I know how I am. And I got my little hookah pen, got my little drink in me, you know, y'all, you know, I've done a couple of videos, I'm like, you know, with my little thing on or whatever, but that was all for entertainment purposes on. But baby, <laughs> yeah, I ain't, I don't have to do that. And for women that do that, I really don't have no comment about that because again, what they eat don't make me shit. I I I can kill this. It's what they do. Some people just flaunt their figure and their body around because they just they. For some women, it's just like an accomplishment. You never know what folks are going through unless you've really been following them from year, for years. Some people, you know, have, you know, they, they proud of their accomplishment. Whether it's weight loss, working out, you know, surgery or whatever. They just proud. And like, yeah, look at my fiberglass figure. Like, like you know, and, and stay in the mirror. That's what they, that's what they do to feel good. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, that don't, that don't bother me. It's like, okay, that's what you, that's what you do. That's what you do. Um, we all know as women, we should know that you don't have to do that to be noticed. You don't have to do that to be like, I'm the bad chick around, you know, look at me or whatever. Look, you know, 
you don't have to do that. But again, if that makes you feel good, and it, it, I don't know how to answer that. Just and, and believe it or not, like you just said, you know, in your own comment for followers, some people thrive on followers. They thrive on the numbers they see on their Instagram on their YouTube, that's like, oh my God, I'm famous. I have 9 million folks following me. But do you have $9 million in the bank? That shit don't, again, that, that shit don't make or break you. But again, it's, it's, it's all a business for some people. The more followers, the more people, the more exposure they're getting, more, more potential companies coming to them. When you endorse my product, Will you sell my lipstick? Will you sell my nail polish? You got 9 million followers. So they doing it for endorsements. Not just to be seen. You know, some people that had a bad life and they just have, they, they just don't get attention at home. Some people do. And they just feel as if, okay, my man ain't giving no fucking attention at home. My boyfriend ain't giving no attention at home. I'm on Instagram. I'm on YouTube. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Geek or whatever the fuck everything everybody's on. And, I'm getting followers and I'm getting likes and, and, you know, that's what they got to do to make them feel good. That's fine. And again, some people, it's a business. Some people know out of ego. Hell, Sweet Candy Candy is my out of ego, baby. Totally different from Cynthia, believe it or not. So, again, it's, to some people, just a business. It's just like, okay, let me get on here and put on, do my little booty shots and, and stuff and add like you know my alter ego and get these followers and get these endorsements and feed my family and, and, and feed my kids and pay my bills that's it's just a business so you know i i really don't really think too much about what other people doing as far as their body image and stuff you know again it's our social media you know followers don't make you no, don't make you famous as far as putting money in your bank so, in, in, unless you just getting like major major endorsements or whatever but yeah i'm just finna so rambling but yeah number four living and i talked about this so many times before on youtube living above your means youtube you're doing house you're keeping up with the joneses and your house is empty how i feel about that i don't i don't feel a thing about that i stopped watching YouTube hauls and some of them I stopped watching some stuff because like I said before years and years ago that shit can make you fucking broke that shit can be like not me because like I said before I, I'm my own person I have not changed since I got on YouTube I've never looked at hauls and be like that bitch taking that shit back trying to look behind her like bitch and that's a ain't that's a a, 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 a blow up mattress she's sleeping on, bitch. And you you hollering mad and do baton. Ain't you sleeping on the fucking blow up mattress? You know, some people do that. Some people look on YouTube and just be like trying to look out behind you and trying to see what you got and bitch, then you had a hand two months ago and and, and uh, again, this is a business for some people, YouTube. It's a business. Some people business, some people job is to haul on YouTube to get that that um that that AdSense check because doing house is like the number one revenue, you know, money make on YouTube. Some people do house because they genuinely can buy stuff and they I'm showing you some people go buy that shit. I'm assuming I'm, again I'm just assuming because I don't just be on YouTube like I used to. I don't know, but some you know I I wouldn't put it past some people to go out and buy stuff and haul it. You know. Um, Shanae, that's howling stuff, and then you don't, you never see it again because believe it or not, that's that again. What they it don't make me shit. They doing this shit. That's their ass. That's their ass getting caught up in the fucking web. Cause trust and believe, folks watching that shit, and they watching you a month from now, on a year from now, on to see if you using that fucking Mary Kay, not Mary Kay, that Mac that you said you had. They watching to see if you using that that iPad that you just got for your birthday. They watching to see if you carrying that Louis Vuitton you got for Christmas and your birthday. They watching to see if you um if you driving that car that you um took a picture at took a picture in with your 
Chanel bag on, on your arm showing. Folks watching. So, again, if they doing this shit and they not, they don't really have it and they trying to... Again, you can't worry about them people. I, 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 I don't. And again, it, it don't. If you start, if you start YouTube, and if you doing this shit, again, if that's what you need to do right now for a hustle, to buy shit and take it back, because you know, again, you finna get a, a AdSense check because you hired every two and three days. That's your hustle. You do what you gotta do to get that AdSense, AdSense check. But again, you just making trouble for yourself. If folks call you out on that shit, cause trust and believe, folks have underhandedly slick trying to call me out on some stuff like, uh, can you do a haul on all of your on your purses? No, not a haul, but <coughs> can you do up to it's back it, this that was a long time ago. That was a long, long time ago. Can you do up to date haul of, of um what's uh of, of your purses? Can you do a what's in my speedy? Can you do a haul and what's in my and you, you know they trying to be low key nose to see you still got that motherfucking speedy. They trying to be low key nose to see if you still got that that delightful or whatever that bag right there I got. They trying to be low key nosy. Can you do a um a house tour? Can you do? Uh, I even seen some people ask people um Can you do a, um what's in my um yeah what's in my car? But uh, yeah, it's been a while. But people want folks to do a video showing them what's in their car like. What? Lint? Dust? Dirt? Umbrella? CDs? Starbucks coffee? What you want to see what's in my car? It ain't got to be POTUS that out there in the garage. You know, people do low-key shit to see if you still got that stuff. So, I just feel sorry for them if they doing this shit as a hustle. And you really on YouTube, like big on YouTube, and you showing all this shit. And you ain't, you ain't been, you haven't been seen with the sense. I don't know what to say. That's that's them getting themselves in trouble. So I, uh, again, I I've been no, I ain't, I ain't. It's just that um before I even start the school, you know, I I've been stopped looking at videos as far as how you no, know, I I ain't gonna. I look at I look at stuff, but it's like you know. I'm sitting here, you know, boy, you know, you, you might be broke, you might be going through something, you looking at um house all day or Louis Vuitton, Matt, um Chanel, Ruby Woo, Gucci, Chanel, whatever, and, and you can't get that shit. That shit'll make you feel some type of way, but like, but well, fuck. That devil will start creeping in like, but well, fuck, you know, how the fuck she getting there? You know, what the fuck she do for a living? How come I can't get it? They should have messed with you. So I, I'm just like, you know what, again, I ain't entirely makeup and stuff anyway because there was, you know, to me, all the people that I was following, that's all I was seeing at one point was Mac, 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 Mac. I'm like, man, I don't even wear Mac like that. And I caught myself going out there and buying some, a couple of Mac lipsticks and stuff just to have it. And here come Mac Howl and, you know, you know how we do it and, I'm like, you know what? I, I ain't finna do all that. That shit, and, and trust and believe. That's you go out there and haul and sometimes keep up with the Jones if you want to. Like I just told my daughter the other day about her schoolwork. You get behind, it's hard as fuck to get caught back up. So just stay ahead, stay afloat. Do do you what you gotta do in school, and get it over with. So you out there hauling, trying to keep up. That shit gonna catch up with you sooner or later. So 24 minutes. Let me go. Good topic, head missus. Lay ya. Uh-huh.